Hi everybody, Jeremy here from Video Test Studio and today I'm going to share with you how to create that light leak transition in DaVinci Resolve and how to reuse it. So if you're ready, let's check it out. Alright, so we are in DaVinci Resolve, we are on the edit page and here in my timeline I have two clips of a boy playing and we're just going to make a light leak transition between those two shots. Before we start, one quick tip is generally it's better if you're going to use a light leak transition to have a light source in the frame because it helps to justify that light leak. With that being said, let's just get started. So first off, you want to make sure that you have a bit of excess here in your video that you've trimmed a bit of it to give some handle for the transition to be applied properly. So just trim a bit of your video and then when it's done, you can simply click here in between your two video and hit command T on your keyboard to bring a cross dissolve transition. And as you can see, a basic cross dissolve transition has been applied, but we cannot open it in Fusion yet. We need to right click on it and then we're going to go to convert to Fusion cross dissolve. And now we can just move over to Fusion. To do that with the cross dissolve selected, we're going to go over to the inspector and then here we're going to just go to Fusion. It's important that you access it that way. If you try to just go to the Fusion page like this, nothing will show up. So just select your cross dissolve, go to the inspector and then select that button instead. Now once in Fusion, as you can see, we still have all Media 2 and all Media 1 and we have the cross dissolve happening here in the middle. Cross dissolve is in a group, so we're just going to remove it from the group by right clicking on it and then going with ungroup. And as you can see here, there is already an animation on it using anim curve. So we're going to go over to the modifier and instead of having a cross dissolve that is applied on the entire composition, we're just going to make it happen only between frame 10 to 12 or something like this. So to do that, we're going to go over to transition linear. We're going to switch that to custom. And then here with the first point selected, we're going to swap that value to 0.49. And then we're going to select the second point and here we're going to change the value to 0.5. So now instead of having the transition applied on the entire composition, it's just switching here in the middle from one clip to the other. Now that we've done that, we're ready to create our light leak transition. To do that, we're going to bring a fast noise node. So I'm going to hit shift space on my keyboard and I'm going to search for fast noise and bring the fast noise node. You can then just link the output of the fast noise to the dissolve. And then here in the five notes, we're going to make some modification to create the light leak. So the main aspect that I wanted to adjust right now is the scale. As you can see, if we're increasing the scale, we can see uh, the fast noise. Basically, the fast noise is creating some kind of like layer of smoke, but uh, you can modify it with the detail, contrast, brightness and scale. And it can create some shape and texture that we can use uh, with some displacement or as background. There's a lot of different use cases. And right now, by decreasing the scale to a minimum, like maybe 0.5, we're getting some sort of aura right there that we can use to create a light leak. So now if we animate the seat position, as you can see right here, we can have like something that go in front of the screen like a light leak. So we're going to start by animate that with an anim curve by right clicking on it and then here go with modify with anim curve. So now as you can see, we've created an animation on the this. So that's just the movement of that fast noise, which creates some sort of veil that just go above the two clip and then disappear. The only thing is that right now when it's above the two clip, we can still see the transition happening. We can cover the transition between the two clip by increasing the brightness that will make it more of a solid. And so now we're going to go from, you know, something that is a bit of a veil to a solid that will hide the transition back to uh, a veil. So right now the brightness, I'm going to go with 0.5. I don't want it to make it too solid so we can still see what is behind and it can still act as a light leak. The second thing is that I want to change the color of that light leak and make it a similar color to the footage that we have on screen. So in our case here, if I bring that to the viewer, it's like a red orange. So we're going to try to pick that color. We're going to go over to the fast noise and then here we're going to go to color. Then here in color two, you're going to pick the color of your light leak. I will recommend that you pick something that match the footage that you have. So here in my case, it will be orange, red or yellow. If you're not confident on picking that color directly yourself on the color wheel, you can just take the picker and then here select the color that seems to match the best. So I'm going to go with that right here. In my case, I don't think that's going to be the best because it's more towards the brown. So I'm going to just bring that back towards uh, orange and I'm going to bring that back towards something that is a bit less dark. Now let's just bring back all media out to the viewer. And as you can see, we're getting somewhere right here. Now we're just going to try to stylize a bit more that light leak by bringing a glow. So I'm going to just make some space here between my fast noise and my merge. It's shift space on the keyboard and search for soft glow. 
we're just gonna bring that in and then here directly you can see that it's increased the intensity of our glow and it has increased it a bit too much to be honest so we're just gonna tune that down the first thing i want to do is here bring the threshold up as you can see just gonna play around with the edges of that light leak and it can really help you stylize the look of that light leak so in my case i think something like 0.4 would be good then here you can play around with the gain that will modify the intensity of the core mostly of that light leak so you could just reduce that if that's too intense for you or increase that if you want it to be more pronounced in my case i'm just going to decrease it a little bit maybe something like 1.5 and now if you want to reduce the overall effect, you can decrease the blend and that will just make it less pronounced. Right now, I'm just gonna leave it at one. Now, as you can see, we're getting close to something nice. The only issue is that here at the beginning and at the end, we cannot see clearly the footage and that's gonna be too much right away. So we want to increase the intensity step by step at the beginning until it's cover up and then decreasing that as well. To do that, we're gonna use an opacity animation. So I'm gonna select my soft glow, it's shift space on my keyboard, search for a brightness node and bring that in. Then here we're gonna activate the alpha channel. I'm gonna right click on the gain and go with modify with anim curve. Then here we're gonna go to the modifier and we're gonna change the scale from five to one. Now here we're gonna go to curve. We're gonna switch linear to custom and here we're gonna hit mirror. And as you can see, we can clearly see the footage at the beginning. Then it slowly transition towards the light leak and then the light leak cover up completely the transition between the two and then the light leak is decreasing. Now, right now, by default, I've reached something that I'm pretty happy with, but now will be the time to try different things and really modify your light leak. So you could go back to the fast noise and make some modification to the color if you're not happy with it. You could make some modification to the detail, contrast, brightness, and scale to get a different type of light leak. And also here in soft glow, again, playing around with the threshold and the gain, and also in the brightness node, you could make some modification as well. So here, for example, if I would like to increase the color saturation, I could do that right there and just play around to get really the color that I want. So if I want something that is a bit more faded uh, and a bit more towards amber, I could just decrease that saturation and it will already give me a very different look. And if I want something that is more red, a bit more punchy, uh, I could just increase here uh, the saturation and I will get again something very different. And that's pretty much it now we have our transition if you want to save that transition the easiest way to go about it will be simply to go back to the edit page and then you can simply right click on it go to create a transition preset and then here you can rename it light leak for example and select ok and now if you go and search in your video transition for light leak it will just pop up right there i could simply delete this one and whenever we want we can just take that and drag it here and now we have our light leak transition, we can adapt it and it will work perfectly fine. If you wish to have more control over it in the inspector, I will recommend to export it as a macro. I will not be covering that in this video, but if you want to learn how to do it, you can watch this other video about the shake transition that I've made, where I explain also how to export a transition macro. And there is also another video that I've made fully about macro, explaining you how to export them. So I will link to that in the description below if you want to create those. But if you don't want to go through the hassle of creating a macro, you can always just select here your transition, go back to Fusion, make any modification you like uh, to the color of the light leak, uh, to the shape of the light leak, and so on. Here are two other examples where I'll just simply change the color of the light leak to uh, the color that are on screen. And that's pretty much it. Hope this video was helpful. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. Let me know in the comment what kind of video you'd like to see next. And see you in the next one. Bye. Speed up your workflow and create better videos using the pack available on our website, including titles, transition, and templates, but only for DaVinci Resolve. Get started today by downloading our free starter pack containing a compilation of 20 titles curated from our library. Link in the description below or at videodigitalstudio.com.